This is The Lock Picking Lawyer, and I have gotten countless emails, comments, and messages since we released the Arbiter Bypass Kit a couple of weeks ago over on CoverInstruments.com. And what everyone wants to know is, what is this wire tool? It's something I have never shown before, but is extremely useful when dealing with the glass storefront doors that are ubiquitous in North America. The aluminum frames of those doors usually have one of two mechanisms. The first is a swing bolt like this, and I've shown you a couple of times how to use this commercial door hook to open them up. You simply push this hook in between the door and the frame, maneuver it so it hooks onto this little bar, then you pull down and the door is open. The other type of mechanism is a dead latch like this, and it locks the door every time the door closes. There are a couple of ways to open this. The first is picking, and if you do go that route, remember that it picks in the opposite direction from what you'd expect. You pick toward the door frame, not away from it. The other option is where this wire tool comes into play. It takes advantage of the fact that most of the cylinders used in these mechanisms are unshielded. So we can reach right through the cylinder with a tool like this and manipulate the mechanism. Now let's see how we can take advantage of that. I'm going to push on the dead latch to simulate a locked door. Then we'll insert the tool. And once we have it in position, I can simply use that wire to push back the bolt. If we look at it from the side, we can see exactly what, what's happening. That wire is pushing back on the internal part of the latch. Let's do that one more time. I'm going to simulate a locked door by pushing the dead latch, insert our tool, and almost as fast as using a key, we got it open. Now, if the mechanism is a little bit sticky, which you will find when these have been out in the weather for a while, you may not be able to push the latch all the way back. But if that is the case, you will almost always be able to at least push this little mechanism just a little bit down. What that does is disengage the dead latch mechanism. And then you can finish the job using either a traveler hook or latch slipper or even a super mica shim but I don't think you'll find that necessary on most doors. In any case, that's all I have for you today. I hope you found this helpful. If you do have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.